The last two days have been a whirlwind. Why are we doing this? So sick. We're Keith and Dev. Our goal is to make the most of each day with adventures big and small. In 2021, we explored Canada from Ontario all the way to Vancouver. And this year, we flew to Europe. Subscribe to follow along. Let's quickly get you caught up on the first day. I can't believe we're doing this. Finally, dip our feet and bodies into the natural cool Ura, it is not very warm. Here we go. <laughs> This. I can do this. And swim. Swim, swim, swim. One, two, three. Warmest place in Europe. Yeah, it's huh. actually not bad. I'm Jackpot. Not surprised. I mean, minus 20 where the lakes are frozen, you're skating, to being in the ocean. A great way to end our time in Prince of the Classic Ethan Dev fashion. We left our Airbnb in a big rush. Sit. Come on, let's go, let's go. I'm going to go to the recycling and garbage. I'll see you there. Made it. It's the bus stop. All packed. Groceries, toilet paper in here. Made it on the bus. And we got our van. We're in a stick, so we gotta get used to that again. Oh my goodness. And we're going. There's a rickety old stick shift. I'm not used to it. Keith's amazing. He successfully drove us to the grocery store after picking up our van. We got this. We got also, this. we're driving in Spain. What doing down there, Duff? Making a sandwich. Already starting that van line. Look at those volcanoes. We drove to Playa Blanca to meet up with our pals Ali, Justin, and Mariah. We went straight to the boat, and Keith tried wing foiling. Oh, it's totally awesome! And then yesterday, we got the opportunity to see what it's like to train with Olympic athletes. Well, we didn't train. Yeah, we got to go on the coaching boat during the coaching regatta. Yeah, it was so cool. So our video might be a bit different now, but we want to show you what it's like and how amazing and how hardworking it really And how is. cool these two Olympic athletes really are. Look at these guys. We're in the coaching boat. Because we're pretty much Olympic coaches. We know everything today. about sailing. We don't know anything. Justin's going to be our right hand man. <laughs> this was a phenomenal experience, and we'll show you what we learned. This is called winging up. This is where sailors meet with their coach to discuss strategy and goals for the upcoming race. This is the hardest but most valuable part of the race. Racers have to line up to make sure they have a good line to go forward, but not cross in the starting line before the race begins. Sailors have to race upwind towards a buoy. This turn is called the bear away. Go around it and sail downwind around the start line. They have to complete it twice to finish the race. We're actually at their Airbnb and we've been here hanging out with them, barbecuing. Living in our van, well sleeping in our van. Sleeping in our van, down the road, so it's been pretty good. It's been awesome. Let's go meet them. Hello, Mariah. Hello. Hello, Allie. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mariah. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. I'm 23 years old and I sail the 49 Mirror FX with Allie. I'm Allie, I'm 26 years old. I'm from Kingston. 
Yeah, I saw the 49er FX, which is the women's Olympic skip class. I'm the skipper and Mariah is the crew. The race car analogy is like, I'm the steering wheel and Mariah is the engine and the gas pedal. So yeah. Mariah controls all the sails and the power in the boat, and so she'll kind of control, yeah, the gas and the engine of the boat. I'm the steering wheel. We started sailing in the summer of 2016. We jumped in a boat together for fun, just trying to figure out what our next steps were after Rio when Allie was sailing with someone else. And then ever since, we've been sailing together. So, five years now. Yeah. I guess like the major games we've been at are the Tokyo Olympics this past summer and the Pan American Games, which were in Lima, Peru. Those are our main uh, games competitions where you're part of like Team Canada, so it's run under the Canadian Olympic Committee and you're a part of like a multi-sport games. But every year we compete at the World Championships and European Championships and that changes location around the world, so it's pretty cool. We get to travel, been in worlds for Denmark, um, New Australia. Zealand, Australia, and the worlds this summer are in Canada in uh, St. Margaret's Bay and yeah, yeah, Halifax, nice. yeah. That's so cool. I started sailing in Toronto around like five years old. It, I think it was like a very good way for my parents to get me out of the house in the summer and put me in a daycare, but uh, yeah, I learned to sail. And yeah, I just continued on, kept loving it, did it every summer, and then from there just started to get more and more competitive and kind of started to see it more as a, something that I wanted to do long term. I grew up sailing out of Kingston Yacht Club, so Kingston I think in general is a really big history um, of sailing and a connection to the water. So I grew up sailing out of the Kingston Yacht Club in their Learn to Sail program with my sister Julia. Uh, something Ryan didn't mention is that both of our dads went to the Olympics in the sport of sailing so I think because of that we were introduced to sailing at a really young age mm -hmm. yeah started it just as a fun thing to do for camp with my sister and just really fell in love with the water and being out on the water and yeah, the connection with mother nature <laughs> <laughs> Our sport's very unique where we get to be in the elements all the time. It could be a sunny, beautiful blue day or like a stormy, rainy day and you get to really experience it all. Every location is very different and you kind of have to adapt to like geographically what's different in each spot and I think that's pretty unique to our sport. Both individuals that love to be outside so it's a great sport for us. I just love that, that so much of our field of play or sport is changing and evolving and out of our control. So we can't control the wind, we can't control the waves, and we have to you know, make our best guess of what we think is going to happen or kind of react as these factors change um, as more of like a strategical part and use our brains as well as um, the physicality of the boat as well I think is cool. This is the beginning of our European season, so we have an event at the end of the month. That would be like the start, the first official event. That's the Lanzarote Olympic Regatta. And then after that, uh, we'll be hitting like the World Cup spots or yearly schedule, which will be in Palma. And then our, I guess our next like massive event is Worlds in Canada, like we talked about. Yeah, we sail about 10 regattas a year on average and these change locations, but there are specific locations that are consistent year to year. So we'll be hitting those, but our ultimate goal is obviously Paris 2024. To qualify for that will be 2023 Worlds, which are in the Netherlands. We have super fun channels. We're out Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok recently. Give us a follow. You can also follow our newsletter where we share more detailed kind of information about what we're doing each month, the fun things we're doing, how our training's going. So follow along, because it's pretty fun. We're back at our van. We said goodbye to the sailors. Yeah, they're off to training again today. All that hard work. So we are going to end this video here. Um, thank you guys again so much for having us and letting yeah. us see what your guys' life is like. That was awesome. And also hanging in your Airbnb. Yes. I, honestly, I'm sad to, to say goodbye. It's been nice having friends. So thank so. you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video, which is actually gonna take place right here. So start right, right now. now. Yeah. Guess who I am? <laughs> okay. Oh, one, two, three. Jump! Wait, you gotta film me. I'm making fun of you. One, two. <laughs> okay, this is the middle. Fifth gear, come back here. What the heck? Hopefully, you don't have to go in fifth gear very much. You just look cool with drinking your, your water.
Atlantic Ridge. Best ropes in the game, baby.